Hello everyone, welcome to Indish Windish. So the last couple of days have been really warm for us in Rizrat and, and now finally it's raining today and we decided to celebrate the rainy day by making some pakoras. We'll be baking our pakoras instead of deep frying them but the result is still crispy and crunchy and soft on the inside pakoras. Let's start with the ingredients which you'll also find written in the description box below. This will make enough pakoras for 4 persons. So you'll need 3 red onion, I've taken medium sized. 3 green chilies, feel free to take mild or spicy, whatever you prefer. I'm using grapeseed oil here because that is uh, easily available here in Germany. But if you have mustard oil, feel free to use that. You have to separate it in two parts, one fourth cup each, one for pakora batter and one for brushing later. Now coming to our spices, I've taken half teaspoon of red chili powder, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. You'll also need 1 fourth cup of corn flour or corn starch. And 1 cup of ground flour or basin or chickpea flour. Slice the onion about 1 cm thick. Finely chop your green chilies and add them. You could also add some fresh coriander or mint leaves if you like. Add the baking powder, salt, your spices and oil. Now give it a mix with hands, separating the onion strands and coating them well with the spices and oil. Now add the gram flour and the corn flour and mix it again with hands. You want to mix the batter with hands and not use a fork or a spoon in order to get a well incorporated batter. I'm gradually adding 1 fourth cup of water to bring it all together because it was uh, too dry for me. You want a thick batter that thoroughly coats the onion uh, but it should not be runny so it's more like a doughy consistency. Line a baking tray with parchment paper and coat it with some oil. Now place the pakoras on the baking tray a few centimeters apart, shaping with your hands. Be careful not to push the pakoras too much. We don't want dense pakoras but rather fluffy and soft ones. So keep some air in between when you are placing them. I'm placing an equivalent of about a tablespoon of batter for each pakora. Now put the tray in a preheated oven on 180 degrees for 10 minutes. If you don't have an oven, you can use a microwave with convection, an ODG or even an air fryer. After 10 minutes, take the tray out and we are going to brush our pakoras with some oil. Back in the oven for 20 minutes on 180 degrees. Okay. 
So our 20 minutes are up. We are going to take the pakoras out from the oven and keep them to rest for 5 minutes. Our pakoras have turned out having such a gorgeous golden color from the top and the bottom and are super crispy too. Serve it with some spicy and some sweet chutneys. The recipe link to my spicy mint and coriander chutney you will find in the description box below. And if you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye!